Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends. I wonder what Mr. Peacock will be doing today. Let's find out, but first I have to find him. Do you know where Mr. Peacock is? Mr. Peacock! Mr. Peacock! I'm here! There you are, Mr. Peacock. We're all wondering what you're going to be doing today. Today, I'm going to take you back in time to find out what happened in the past. We're going back in time? Yeah, we got to go check this out because this is going to be so fascinating. Shall we go back in time? I think we should. Let's go, Mrs. Peacock. Okay. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Come on. We finally made it to this world's largest time capsule. Is this cool or what? Yes, let's go check it out. We are in Seward, Nebraska, home of the world's largest time capsule. Yes, that's right. The largest time capsule is right behind us. And it was built in 1975 by Harold Davidson. He wanted to be remembered by his grandchildren. He didn't think they would remember him. So he decided to build this time capsule. I think it's so cool. We need to build one on our property so people can remember what we do. But this is so cool. Tell us some more about what's inside of it, Mrs. Peacock. Inside of here is a brand new 1975 Chevy Vega car. I don't remember that car. I remember it, but I can't tell you what it looks like. But I remember it, it was really tiny and it would have to be to fit in there. I guess so. I guess we won't know what it looks like until 2025. That's when this is going to be opened. And I can't wait to see what it's going to look like and how it fared all these years. It should be very interesting, but you know what? What? I think we should find some more hidden treasure. Let's go. Okay. I think I see how they're going to get into this time capsule. And how do you think that is? There's a little spot right around the corner here. Let me show you. Okay, show me. There are the handles. Where are the handles? Right over here. Oh, you're right. Now, there are rumors are they're gonna have to use quite a sledgehammer to get into this. And I can't wait to see the two capsules. Apparently he put in a uh, nether capsule on top of this one so that it would be the largest one in the world. And now it is. And I'm afraid in 2025, it's going to be quite a bit different, Mrs. Peacock. Yes, I think so too. But you know what's inside this pyramid portion? What? The car that he put in here is an old beat up 1975. It's either a Datsun or a Toyota, but nobody can remember which. So they're going to be surprised when they open it up. I think we're going to come in 2025 to check this out. Yeah, it really should be interesting to see what all's in there. You've just seen the time capsule in Seward, Nebraska. Yeah, that's right. It's the world's largest time capsule, to be sure. And it is big, and he made sure he was going to be the world's largest time capsule. And he's actually in the Guinness World Book of Records. It is so cool to have his memories placed in this. And in a few years, they'll be opened up, and I can't wait to see how everything fared inside it. It should be interesting because in 2025 they're supposed to open it and I'm hoping that let everybody see what's inside. I wonder what those cars will look like. I can't wait to see them. Oh no, not again. Yeah, time's up. We've got to go. But do we have to? But we got to go. Time's okay, up. Okay, okay. If that's the case, I'll say see you all later. That's right. Next time on Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock is gone. He must be off on another adventure. So until next time, I'm Mr. Peacock and friends. I'll see you later. Mr. Peacock, Mr. Peacock.